The only failure in life is not to try. My charged Clooney, actor, and filmmaker, and winner of three Golden Globe Awards for acting. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and most welcome guests, let me ask you a question. How many of you wanted to do something but did not try because you were afraid that you might fail? Let's have a show of hands. Wow, join the club. <laughs> we all have been there, including myself, many, many, many times. Nine years ago, I was traveling on my bike after work, going home on the sidewalk, as I do every single day. And it was raining. And as I went over over the tracks. The bike went four feet up in the air on this side, four feet, and I went four feet on the air on that side. Mm -hmm. And I missed, I missed the sidewalk by a sixteen of an inch. Now, the fact is, I could have died without me even knowing it. But this was not the scary part. The scary part was that it happened so quickly that I didn't even know, and I had no control of it, and that was the scary part. I vowed to myself at that point that I would never use the same route again, that I would take this other route that was 15 minutes longer. And I made, that, I made that decision because my life was a lot more important. So when I got to work, I spoke to my manager. Her name is Darlene. And I said to her that, hey, I almost died. And she said, Michael, I want you to go over that track again. I said, what? She said, go over the track again. I said, why? I mean, I almost died. I might not be able to come back to work. And she said, Michael, don't let fear stop you from trying. You see, if you are afraid of these small little fears, you won't be able to achieve your goals or your dreams. You are no good for us at the Small Business Administration. So go over those tracks. So on the very next day, I went home, went off the tracks, eager beaver, and once I got to the tracks, my mind stopped speaking to me. Have that happened to you? Talk in your mind? Well, one of the voices said, hey, Mike, if you go over the tracks, you're not going to be so lucky this time. You might be on a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Is that what you want? Then the voice on, on the other side said, Michael, don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. If you don't go over those tracks, Charlene will have no confidence in you, and your chances of a promotion or keeping your job is zealous. So big guy, go over the tracks. So I did. But you know what? I walked. So I got back to work, and I spoke to Dolly. She said, I didn't tell you to walk it, man. I told you to ride the bike over the tracks. <laughs> And she said, Michael, the real mistake is not to try. And you didn't try. I want you to try and go over the tracks. So on the next day, I went over to the tracks. And as I got there, another voice got into my mind. And it said, Michael, you recall your friend Andy in Vietnam? He stepped on a Claymore mine and lost his two legs. You want to be like that? You could happen to you if you go over the tracks. I said, get away from me, man. Get away from me. And the vision of Darlene was right in my face with her hands pointing at me and said, go over those tracks or else. So I went over the tracks. But the idea is when I went over the tracks, I went with my bike with my two legs high up in the air on each side. And you might be wondering, why am I doing that? Well, the fact is, the strategy was in case I should slip, I would jump off the bike and land on my feet and be safe. <laughs> so that was the crutch. That was the crutch. And as I'm doing that, this lady in her attorney is walking down the street and side of the track, speaking to her friend on the cell phone. She said, Sally, you are crazy. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Sally, there's a crazy guy here with his two legs high in the air. He's a lot more crazy than you. Ha, 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 ha. At that point, I took off and got home. So when I got to work and spoke to Dolly, she said, 
why are you two feet up in the air? I said, because I was afraid. <laughs> she said, oh, you are afraid. And she, she said, the real mistake is not to try. And the fact that you didn't try, you, you are using all these crutches. You are free to take a dab. Go ahead and do it, and don't play no tricks on me. I want you to report to me on the next day. So, the next day, I went over the tracks, and I went very slowly. In fact, even a snail could have beaten me. <laughs> and when I went over the tracks, I was like a little hawk, looking at the tires on the track. I was still scared that it would not move, or whatever if it did, I would jump off. And as I'm doing that, this dog comes to the side, pushes me down, <laughs> Arf! and I'm thinking, wow, what's happening? I look, I see this little chihuahua, this little chihuahua. <laughs> and he's trying to get me down. I said, dog, 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 come on. I'm trying to get my balance. And he said, he's determined to knock me down, so I just brush him up gently, and then took off, and he keeps on saying, Arf, Arf, Arf. I didn't care, and got home. So when I got to work, I spoke to Darlene and told her what happened. She said, you know, I'm very proud of what you did. Although you went slow, <laughs> but you had the courage to go over those tracks. Every success starts with a decision to try it, and Michael, you tried. Come and give me a hug. Mm, mm, mm. So what is the message? The message is, don't be afraid to try. It might be joining a Toastmasters club. It might be going for your passion job. All of us have a passion. Maybe you want to do something that you're really excited about. It might be asking for that promotion, extra money. But the bottom line is don't be afraid to try. The only failure in life is not to try.